हेलो एवरीवन एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री ए ऑफ यूपीएससी सिविल सर्विस मेंस पेपर नंबर वन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन ओके सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज थियोरिटिकल क्वेश्चन ऑफ मटेरियल साइंस सो व्हाट इज द पर्पस ऑफ टेम्परिंग ऑफ हार्ड एंड स्टील सो द पर्पस ऑफ टेम्परिंग ऑफ हार्ड एंड स्टील इज टू रिड्यूस इज हार्डनेस सो हार्डनेस विल बी रिड्यूस्ड एंड टू इंक्रीज द टफनेस to increase the toughness of the hardened steel so this is the purpose now explain the principle of tempering using the suitable schematic including heating temperature requirement and microstructural changes so what is the uh, schematic diagram it will be like temperature and time so first we will increase temperature up to the a1 temperature even that is the lower recrystallization temperature then we will hold it for some period and then we will decrease the temperature to the room temperature so this is the variation and the time for which we, we will holding the temp the our work piece at even temperature or below the just just below the even temperature that is called as soaking period so what happens so generally we know the hardest structure in the steel that is martensite okay so the martensite is is extremely hard and brittle so what happened the chances of failure is very high just because of cracking the material is going to fail and uh, in martensite very high internal stresses are there in hardened steel the formation of martensite includes very very high internal stresses in the material and the martensite it is in the metastable state where uh, the subsequent stable phases are there but we have to undergo some uh, heat treatment process which will uh, so if we and what happens if the martensite is formed and we we will not do the subsequent heating or uh, any heat treatment so it is a metastable state so it will try to come into the stable phase so due to this uh, over the period of time the changes in the dimension of the product or changes in the properties will be uh, we can see even that martensite still is put into into the service so that will be uh, very dangerous so to avoid this we are doing tempering i hope you understand what is a martensite in martensite it is a metastable so what happens anything which is in metastable state they are going to go into the stable state so during this the stage stage change met from metastable to stable so what happens what changes so their properties are going to change so due to this properties some dimensions of are also going to change so when the product is in service so it will be very very harmful so that's why to prevent this we are doing tempering so in tempering what do, what we are doing the the hardened steel that is or martensite or hardened steel hs that is heated we are giving heat up to the temperature just below a1 temperature that is a1 temperature that is lower recrystallization temperature around 100 degree to 680 degree celsius and we are holding that component for around 1 hour or 2 hour okay at the temperature that is called at soaking period that already i have told you 1 to 2 hours we are like soaking and we are cooling back to to its normal temperature at room temperature but not very fast but at a slow rate if we do very rapid cooling then again martensite will form we have to remove the martensite stage but we have to remain some hardness as well as toughness also so to increase the toughness due to this what happens the toughness increases while cooling at a room temperature at slow rate now here one points some points are this is the tempering process I explain the tempering process this much you have to write so that is martensite or uh, hardened steel we have to heat below the even temperature hold this period for around one to two hours that is called soaking period and this temperature we have to remember and cool back to the room at the slower rate now this even temperature that vary with alloying elements in the steel and the types of steel if the steel type change then this even temperature is also going to change soaking period that soaking period is also depend on the type of steel which type of steel you are using that is also different for different soaking period so that you have to remember and uh, due to this the in high internal stresses that is internal stress is also relieved and hardness is reduced so do, these are the main two benefits and toughness is increased toughness is going to increase
I am writing here in clearly toughness is going to increase. So these are the benefits of the tempering. I hope you understand. So this is the end of today's video. This is a very short video due to some reasons. I am making today a short video. But uh, tomorrow we will see some new questions and a quick, uh, a quite a long video. So st stay tuned for that and subscribe this channel and like this video and share with your friends also so that they will also get the benefit of it. So, and thank you for watching this video.